Welcome to, The Success Face. In today's video, we will be discussing, The Luck Factor, by Richard Wiseman. Richard Wiseman is a psychologist and best-selling author who has spent over 20 years researching the concept of luck. In this video, we will delve into the ideas presented in his book and explore how luck plays a role in our lives. Whether you consider yourself a lucky person or not, you won't want to miss this fascinating discussion on the science behind good fortune. So sit back, relax, and join us as we dive into The Luck Factor with Richard Wiseman. Your input matters. We would love to hear your thoughts on the video. Please leave a comment with your opinion. Some people are lucky, while others aren't but luck alone has nothing to do with it. According to studies, lucky people are no better than unlucky people in predicting good fortune, such as a winning lottery number. On IQ tests, lucky people do not perform better than unlucky people. Lucky people are less superstitious than those who are unlucky. Lucky people anticipate having a lot of luck in their lives and are always looking for more. Fortunate individuals focus harder on their instinct, yet it doesn't make them indiscreet. People who are fortunate view life with greater ease and are more open to opportunities. Lucky people don't consider setbacks to be permanent results, they search for open doors and start working again toward positive results. Lucky people look forward with optimism rather than dwelling on negative outcomes. You can retrain your thinking and habits to increase the quantity and quality of luck in your life with dedication and consistent work. Which number would you choose to represent how fortunate you are as a whole, from 1, luck has nothing to do with your life, to 7, luck has a lot to do with your life. Consider important life events like meeting your spouse or a best friend, the highlights of how your career has developed, or an important event that is central to your life story after you have written down a number for how lucky you think you are generally. On the same luck scale, from 1 to 7, rate how lucky you think you were in each of these experiences or events. Then re-evaluate the significance of luck in your life as a whole. You probably recorded a higher number for the significance of luck in each particular event than you did for the significance of luck in general in your life. Influential unforeseen occurrences are common, they happen all the time. There is no such thing as serendipity. Serendipity is everywhere. Every person can think of stories from their own lives, the lives of friends, or even the lives of famous people, in which a chance meeting, a few haphazard moments spent in one direction or another, or a decision that seemed to be made by tossing a coin changed everything forever in ways that no one could have anticipated or planned. These stories can come from friends or friends' lives as well. This is frequently referred to as luck or having good luck. Over the course of eight years, hundreds of people's lives were studied, and approximately half of them reported feeling lucky, while 14% reported feeling unlucky. What causes so many people to believe that the events in their lives are random? Is it psychic ability, IQ, or something else? You will discover that, lucky, people are no more capable of selecting winning lottery numbers than, unlucky, people if you rate them on a scale from lucky to neutral to unlucky based on how lucky they believe they are.
To compare the intelligence levels of the two groups, you can take IQ tests. You will find that the distribution of intelligence does not depend on how lucky people think they are. Luck is believing you are fortunate. Tennessee Williams, in one experiment, participants were asked to indicate their level of certainty about winning the lottery. Unlucky winners had twice as much confidence in their ability to win as the lucky winners. The experiment provided a hint as to what makes people lucky, despite the fact that having confidence does not automatically assist you in selecting the appropriate lottery numbers, being self-assured can increase your chances of having luck because people's thoughts, actions, and expectations have an impact on every aspect of their lives. Individuals are not conceived fortunate or unfortunate, however they make their very own lot great and misfortune through their viewpoints, sentiments, and activities. What are the way of behaving and character attributes that free individuals up to karma and separate fortunate and unfortunate individuals? Lucky individuals typically have a greater number of positive, fruitful, and unplanned encounters, whereas unlucky individuals typically have fewer. Additionally, the few unplanned encounters they do have frequently result in negative outcomes. Fortunate individuals will generally use sound judgment apparently by some coincidence. Even when they are unable to provide analytical justifications for their choices, everything just seems to work out for them. On the other hand, Unfortunate people frequently make choices that ultimately worsen their circumstances. Dreams of fortunate people appear to come true, they achieve their objectives and realize their ambitions. Dreams are unattainable fantasies for unfortunate individuals. Unlucky people tend to remain mired in their bad luck, while lucky people even frequently manage to reverse it. First luck principle. Make the most of lucky breaks in an experiment, Martin and Brenda, two people who had agreed to take part in a study but had no idea what it was about, were filmed by the researcher. Even worse, Brenda referred to herself as a walking disaster, describing herself as unfortunate. Martin, on the other hand, had just won the lottery and was extremely fortunate. The subjects were instructed to wait for a researcher to arrive before being directed to a coffee shop. The exploration group put a five pounds note on the ground before the shop. Martin looked at the note, picked it up, went inside, sat down at the counter, and started a pleasant conversation with a researcher who was acting like a successful businessman. Brenda sat down next to the fictitious businessman, didn't look at the money, stepped over it, and didn't talk to anyone. After that, the researchers conducted interviews with both individuals and inquired about their perceptions of luck or unluck. Brenda described her morning as uneventful, and Martin was ecstatic about having found the money and the pleasant conversation. Both of them had the same chances, but only one of them felt lucky. Lucky people are frequently persuaded that these opportunities are the result of pure chance. However, these opportunities that appear to be the result of pure chance are the result of the psychological makeup of lucky people. People who are fortunate are fortunate because they are more open to and aware of opportunities in their lives than people who are unlucky. They connect with a lot of new people and build networks with them. They also know, at least intuitively, that meeting new people opens up opportunities to meet even more people. 
This way, meeting one person can expand your luck network by thousands. Lucky people usually have a more laid-back attitude about life, which is important because it lets them see and experience more. Lucky people allow more experiences and influences into their lives because they are less anxious and more open to new opportunities, new experiences, and taking risks. They are put on a new path to high rewards because they are less closed off. Second luck principle. You don't have time to look at every opportunity. Use your intuition. Be that as it may, assuming you slender your extent of activity down to just what you know and have inspected completely, you will miss a great deal. Before the conscious mind even has a chance to comprehend the information, people are wired to recognize cues and signals. Lucky people's success is influenced by this intuition. It is not difficult to debilitate the amazing open doors in your life. But new or even irregular encounters present the potential for new open doors. Lucky people use their intuition more consistently in every aspect of their lives, according to a survey of lucky and unlucky people. Lucky people more often than unlucky people use techniques to refresh and clear their minds so they can be more open to their intuition and hunches. These methods include meditating, putting issues off until later, and going somewhere quiet. The third principle of luck is to harness the power of expectation. Everyone has hopes, dreams, and ambitions for the future. However, neither chance nor luck will determine whether or not you are able to live the life of your dreams and meet your expectations. It all comes down to how you feel about yourself and your life. People are fortunate in part because they anticipate being fortunate. They sow the seeds of success, aid in the realization of the possibilities, and, as a result, reap a bounty of rewards by anticipating positive outcomes. People let the seeds of better opportunities wither if they anticipate only drought and suffering in the future, and in the end, they are unlucky. The two-way relationship between mood and memory explains why fortunate people's reluctance to dwell on any past ill fortune helps maintain their fortunate perspective on life. Even if the odds of success appear to be against them, lucky people frequently pick themselves back up and try again when they make a mistake. They are resilient because they consistently anticipate positive outcomes. Lucky people are more likely to interpret their first setback as evidence that they should give up trying. In point of fact, they consider unfavorable probabilities to be a reason not to attempt anything at all. In addition, their perception of other people is influenced by this attitude. Lucky people expect positive, productive, and pleasant interactions with others. People who are unlucky expect nothing but the worst from every situation. Fourth luck principle. Turn your karma around. However fortunate individuals face disappointment and difficulty however much unfortunate individuals do, they view it as impermanent and variable. When faced with difficult circumstances, they immediately reframe them as brand new, constructive opportunities for development. Fortunate individuals can take a gander at a tough spot that would stop any unfortunate individual in their tracks, turn it around view it decidedly and push ahead. Lucky people don't dwell on obstacles because they believe that everything will work out in their favor in the end, no matter how severe the setback is.
Although they do not completely forget the bad times, it is close. They use misfortunes to learn and make changes to assist with keeping similar occasions from repeating. Unlucky individuals believe they are incapable of avoiding issues. Lucky people, on the other hand, face their problems head on, learn from their mistakes to avoid them in the future, and try to turn negative experiences into opportunities for growth. Might you at any point figure out how to be more fortunate? Individuals have pursued for millennia to control, anticipate and shape their fortunes, frequently by utilizing sorcery charms, wands, words and signals. Even today, if you lean a ladder against a wall so that people can walk under it or choose to step into the road to get around it, most people will prefer to risk getting hit by a car to avoid breaking the superstition that walking under a ladder is bad luck. Individuals purchase costly, dream books, to assist them with picking fortunate lottery numbers, when the really fortunate thing to do is to put their lottery ticket cash in the bank. Those who have achieved success in anything and do not mention luck are liars. Larry King. People who are unlucky are more likely to follow superstition. Instead, they can improve their luck by adopting good luck-inducing thought processes. People can learn new methods and techniques that can help them change their perspectives and thinking habits in order to live luckier and more fortunate lives by using a series of questionnaires and exercises that make up a virtual luck school. The Luck Journal perform exercises that teach you the four luck principles to improve your luck profile. Exercises like Visit the man in the cave, might help you improve your intuition, for instance. Sit down in a cozy armchair in a peaceful location. Imagine that you are at the entrance of a cave by closing your eyes and taking a deep breath. As soon as you enter the cave, you feel calm and relaxed. You are isolated from the outside world, safe and tranquil. You are asked to sit down with an elderly man in the cave and discuss your options regarding a decision you must make. He doesn't want to hear about your sense of duty or what other people want you to do. He needs you to explain why you think each choice is good or bad. Describe your feelings to the old man. Be sincere. Talk only, not think. After that, slowly reopen your eyes. What did you think of each choice? Even if the facts support it, did any of them make you feel uneasy? Will you go with your gut or the facts? Thank you for watching The Luck Factor on our channel, The Success Face. We hope you enjoyed the insights shared by Richard Wiseman on the role of luck in success. Remember that while luck may play a part in our lives, we have the power to increase our chances of success through preparation and action. Take control of your own destiny and make your own luck. We look forward to bringing you more thought-provoking content in the future. Thank you for tuning in.